Well, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're from, from the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. Today, we're off on a journey to follow the short history of one of the greatest refugee crises in the whole of Southeast Asian history. Where are we going to do that, you ask? We're off to Nongkai, which is a small little border town next to Laos. And then we may be going into Laos to see how a Laotian city is and to see how a Lao border town is as well. Now, joining me on this journey, she's standing over here waiting patiently for me to do this intro, is Kaseya. Are you ready to join me on this journey to a small Laotian border town? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> First, we've got to go get a train. It's eight hours. And um, yeah, join us. Let's go. Well, after eight hours on that train, we have now arrived at Nongkai Station. Why are we here? Well, it's one of the first spots in this journey where there's an old refugee camp. I'm not entirely sure exactly where, but we're going to go find it. So, let's go find it in a minute. But first, we need to get a hotel. ใช่ทุกๆครับไปไปอยู่ไหนนะครับเดิมลงนะ <laughs> 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 เห็นหัวใจนึกว่าเอ่อเออๆใช่ครับคิดคิดว่าเธอเธอสอนผมภาษาไทยใช่มั้ยเรื่องเกี่ยวกับประวัติศาสตร์ไทยเรื่องภา
Now the lady last night told me that the legend is that they dug up this area and they found skeletons of the people who actually resided in this region during the Civil War. When they are digging down there, they found the graves, the dead body. Now the original count from the guy, we've got good old Mitchell Bonner, our friend Mitchell Bonner, says that if you arrived just over there where we arrived, as a journalist back in the day, you would be discouraged from entering with cameras and they'd be very tight on the security because of the uh, publicity that Thailand got from the Indo-Chinese refugee crisis, right? We arrived over there, I asked him if it was the old refugee camp. He said, yes. And I said, can I look? I'm making a video about the history. And here we are, inside the grounds of what used to be an old refugee camp. After exploring the wonders of Nong Kai, there was one more thing I hadn't initially planned to see before crossing the border to Laos. A sculpture park. But why did it make the cut all of a sudden? Well, this was built by a Thai Lao man named Ban Lua Sulilat, who, after starting the original project, Buddha Park in Laos, had to flee to Thailand when the communists in Laos eventually won. Here in Nong Kai, he continued this project and built hundreds of sculptures and a temple all themed on Hindu and Buddhist religions, taking some influence from Islam using dome-like shapes for the temple, but a Hindu and Buddhist interior. Now here's the fun part. There's also an interesting myth and legend that says Ban Lua actually carved a curse into one of the great sculptures seen when entering the park, damning a policeman who investigated him asking him why he was in Thailand. So, if this war had never happened, this crisis had never happened, he wouldn't have built this park in Thailand and it wouldn't stand here today, which is quite an amazing part of history, just the fact that something like this just collided together and caused a sculpture park to be erected in Nong Kai. Anyway, Bun Lua died here in 1996 and was laid to rest inside the grounds, mummified on the third floor of his Islamic, Hindu, Buddhist-inspired temple. Now, after seeing all the wondrous seven-story sculptures that the sculpture park had to offer, and maybe cursing the next life with a little bit of bad luck... <laughs> you just said that in a place of worship! <laughs> We'd seen all that Nong Kai had to offer and it was time to head over to Laos to finish up the journey. Well, we went in the temple and I've been reincarnated as Elton John. Um, we're gonna get our bags and we're gonna go. And then... <laughs> and then we're gonna go across the border. And we're gonna have to make two trips. So be back in a jiffy and see you at the Lao border, my friend. All right, so we've got to cross the border up here and there should be a bus. Right now, we are crossing the first ever Thai Lao Friendship Bridge, built in 1994. So 30 years ago, this would not have been here. And like I said, many of the refugees would have made their journey across that Mekong River right there, either by boat or by foot or by swimming, and many would have lost their lives. Today, we're making a much easier journey across the newly built bridge. Here we go, last Thai flag. Now we're on to the Lao side. Here's the Lao flag. Welcome to Lao. Are you excited? Yeah, let's go explore Lao. And there it is, the great big sickle and hammer next to the Lao flag in all its glory to signify that it's a communist country. And just over there, St. Vegas Casino. I'll let you make your own mind up about that one. Let's get through. A taxi and two hotel. Do you have a... a oh, taxi? we go bus. It's okay. It's okay, boss. No, 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 no. And here we are, on a lovely air-conditioned bus. The same price we paid to get across. Yeah, the same price we paid to get across the border over in Thailand. We've paid to go to fucking Vientiane. Result. I'm going to space. I'm going to the moon. Neil Armstrong from America. We go moon together. <laughs> my my out taxi, cup. My out taxi, tuk tuk tuk. My out taxi, tuk tuk. Do it, cup. Bye bye. Cop jai. Cop jai. Cop jai lai. Cop jai lai. 
Cocktail eyes. Look at the view. Look at the beautiful view we have. <laughs> Amazing. All right, we're going to chill here. And then tomorrow we're going to head out on a little bigger adventure. Um, so join us on that as well. Well, good morning from the capital of Laos, Vientiane. Now what stands behind me is Victory Monument. And if you've watched my other videos, Thailand has its own Victory Monument for a very similar reason. A battle with the French to commemorate those who lost their lives for independence of Laos. Now it's a little bit different in Thailand, but go watch the video for that. Now, shortly after this, Laos would have its own battle in between its own borders against one side, the Royal Lao government, and the other side, the Pathet Lao. Now when you think of Lao, what do you think of? You probably think of that flag right over there, right? The Pathet Lao flag. Now interestingly, before that, the flag of this country was totally different. It was the RLG flag, which I'll put up on screen now. And when the Pathet Lao took over, well, Lao changed its flag to the Pathet Lao army emblem and also donned a sickle and hammer. Anyway, why the hell are we in Vientiane? Well, one reason, to talk by this monument, Go check out a couple of monuments here, have a little look around, and then we're going to go to the Lao border town, like I said. So, let's do that today. Wow, look at this. It's beautiful, isn't it? What do you think of the architecture? What do you think it looks like? A church. It looks like a church. Does it remind you of any specific type of architecture? The one in Thai? No. Thailand. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the French. They call this uh, the own Arc de Triomphe of, um, of Laos. Yeah, no, that's what no. I was thinking. The arches. But I was like, oh, you can step on grass. It would be really nice to have because it feels like... Yeah. Ah, like nice, yeah. yeah. The Arc de, yeah, Arc de, de Triomphe. I didn't triomphe. know. That. Yeah. Welcome to the exit. Bye-bye. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. You know Gandhi, the popular, yes, the popular Gandhi. Lao man. I didn't know he was Lao. No. <laughs> no. I'm joking. He's Indian. Oh my god! If you're Indian, I'm so sorry. Now, after a fierce battle with the RLG. This man came from the shadows to rule the Pathet Lao, the communist side, and they overthrew the capital of Vientiane in 1975. Now this was great for any of those who were communist and joined in on the Pathet Lao side, but for all of those who fought for the Americans, many the Hmong people, over 50% of the Hmong population fought for the Americans, this was bad news. Because after this happened, a 20-year totalitarian government ensued and this man shut down all newspapers that opposed him all governments that opposed him and vowed to destroy everybody who was against him either by killing them or sending them to re-education camps where many didn't leave now obviously because of this fact many fled and this is why we have one of the greatest refugee crises in southeast asian history many of those people being Hmong, who were trained by the cia to be special forces to fight against the very troops that took this land over. Now, say whatever you will about this man, but he is regarded as one of the best men in the whole of Laos because he fought for the freedom of the Lao people from the day he was born to the day he was dead. He's much like the Ho Chi Minh of Lao. So, many people regard him as amazing here. The many that went to the re-education camps and who fled do not regard him as a good man. So, like anybody in history, there's a dark side and there's a good side to both of them. But check it out, this grand museum. It's absolutely incredible, some of the communist architecture you see, some of the communist, you know, it's just so big when you go to Vietnam, when you go to other communist countries, they just have such grand monuments to their leaders. It's very patriotic, it's very cool. You know, there's a lot of flags flying around and there's a lot of propaganda around and people love their country and i think that's also a cool thing all right let's get on the bike let's get out of here okay so we've been invited for beer 
Allow state fuel. Any any office office concern. So do I. Office so so do I. Have coffee late. So, if you're the boss here and now, you get to drink beer with foreigners who come to the wonderful Lao State Fuel. <laughs> the perks of being the boss here in Lao. Choi, man. My choi. Okay. I open door. But brother. Wow. You Thai. Ah. Kin beer, cap road, my night. Mung Thai. Ah. Mung Lao kin, the cap road tongue. Lucky shop to eat and I laugh. I'm happy for my 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 out my out mouth. Cheers. My pasta angit. My pasta lao. Who guy? Pasta lao. Come on. Tam yok. 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 ภาษาไทยภาษาลาวว่าจะดมเออจะดมแล้วทําให้เมาจะดมแล้วโอ้สบายใจจะดมจะเออเพียบจะขอบใจเลยเลยเกมเกมอ่าขอบใจเลยเ